help you? <laughs> hey? All right, yesterday we finished the front. Today, we are going to tackle the back. Uh, it's going to be pretty much the same process. I'm going to try to do as close to the lip here as I can by still being able to, to weld to it. Eh, I mean, the fence wheels aren't as bad as the front, but we may as well stick them out, do it similar to the front, can at least put a bigger tire in the back. We'll have to fix this one up too. It's a little, a little wonky. I think when we cut it off there, we'll kind of pop this out better. But, well, as always, we should start on the passenger side. So we'll fix that right away and uh, get our practice in on one side. <laughs> Well, anybody that knows these would have known that these bolted on. I mean, I did. I didn't take into account though that there was actually that much meat that I had. I had just about enough to just pull the fender out. That being said, I really doubt that half of these are going to unbolt, being in the rust belt that we are here. But, eh, whatever. No problem. I'm not too worried. I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. It's what I know worked in the front. I'll do the same in the back. I guess hindsight, if a fella was doing like a really wide, wide box or something, you could stick, I think the fender shape is the same as a half ton. But uh, for what I want, give me my two inches. Again, I probably could have unbolted. I wouldn't have had enough, but I could have added to the inside of the lip. But, eh, whatever. This will be fine. I'm cool with it. It's a little bit of work. Well, it would have been the same work, but I guess I would have been hidden. Although I would have had to do the bolt holes because they would have probably been exposed, but eh. Let's stick with what I've been doing. No big deal. Should be easy. Took that to the bead roller. We got this thing out. Or not the bead roller, the English wheel. So that came out nice. So uh, let's cut a strip and make this happen.
Well, I have the one side all tacked in. I kind of over tacked it. <laughs> That's a thing. I tacked it really good because if I lined up with the edge, it actually had a pretty good contour. Like it's actually pretty nice. The only thing I don't like is this is too flat. It should be a little bit of curve to it. So this edge is actually going nice to it, but it's too flat to finish it. So what I want to do is I'm going to bust these couple welds, take the fender off, walk this in the English wheel a bit, and uh, get a little curve into it. That's kind of the plan. I don't need much up on top, but a little bit, just to follow this edge to go over. So I'm going to grind these down just because I do want to try to walk this in the wheel a bit. Uh, we'll see how good it is because those MIG welds are pretty hard, but we'll flop that all down and then we'll pull it off and then I can kind of, you know, finish up these little bottom bits off. Because this pair part here is kind of overlapped, so I want to cut the excess out and then uh, I can butt weld that properly in there. Other than that, I'm pretty happy. All right, well, uh, I'm going to grind this quick and then... We'll bust this off and I'll bring it over to the English wheel. Well, there we go. This looks nice. Pretty happy with that. I'm happy the way this turned out. Even if I had taken that piece out and brought it out, it wouldn't have been enough. And I would have, yeah, I don't know. This maybe is a little more work, but <clears throat> I like the way this all transitioned out. The, uh, I stuck it in the English wheel. It did a little bit of the curve, but because the panel's so big, and my English wheel's only so high off the ground, I couldn't work the <clears throat> top part of the panel. So I put it in my planishing hammer and just worked it, just to give it a, a round edge. So, like overall, everything, it worked out really well. I don't know if it shows on camera, but instead of this being like flat, it's got a bit of a round to it. So, uh, when a feller actually finishes it up and body works it, it'll actually have a, a nice look to it. 
won't look like a flat shelf coming to the fender it'll look more natural so anyways that uh, I'm super happy with that lots of room here now if a feller wants to uh, put different wheels on or something like that they can it's not a problem all right well I guess we got a game plan now the second side should be much easier and then that'll make all of our fenders mucho wider you can see how this wheel see the back would have almost worked but it's just way too tight all right well let's chop her up Right. Well, this side's going together awesome compared to the other side. That's why you practice on the passenger side, right? <laughs> so anyways, we got this tacked in. I've ground it down. I want to soften this edge. So I'm going to run it through the plenishing hammer and give this a little bit of a roundy bit. Uh, I don't know. 
it's going pretty good. You can tell by the however fast that time lapse went that uh, there's a little bit of uh, fidgeting around there at the beginning, but we got her. And uh, I think to this point, I have about an hour and a half into this fender, so it's not too bad. Uh, Planishing will take a little bit and then we'll weld it back on. So I anticipate it's going to take about three hours, I guess, maybe total to do this. I mean, you could re, I don't know. There's a lot of things you could do to make this go faster or slower or take your time. I am taking my time, but it's, uh, I don't know. It's working out really well. That's all I can say. Anyways, enough gabbing. Let's put this in the smashy hammer there and kind of round these up because this side it's a little harder the edge is a little more harsh i don't know if you can see it or not but it just we're going to try to smooth those up a little bit So I was pretty much just walking this through the plenishing hammer. It's kind of loud, so I won't show. But uh, I was just getting rid of this hard edge because it kind of had a sharp edge and smoothed it out, added a little bit of roundness to the top of here. I have almost no pressure on the hammer. This thing's just a Princess Auto model that I have. I guess similar to your Harbor Freight. I have almost the flattest die on there. You can see I got like almost no pressure on the thing. Just light hits. I've already broke the hammer off, so I've had to <laughs> weld it back on, but. But yeah, so now we got a little bit of roundness to the fender. We got rid of that hard edge. So now we're pretty much ready to stick her back onto the car or the panel. So pretty easy peasy. This should be uh, pretty straightforward. We're gonna measure it up. Do the slice and butt, and away we go.
Well, there we go. We still gotta do a little more welding up in the front. But the fenders are all tacked in, widened up. I feel they look pretty good. Need to all be finished, but we've officially wide-bodied this uh, delivery. <laughs> A little bit of fussing around, but eh, it wasn't too bad. Some of this needs a little hammer dollying. I had to kind of try to stretch this out a little bit to fit in some places so you can see the hammer marks up in there, which is fine. It just needs a hammer and dolly work to smooth that out. No big deal. Even up here, it's just all tacked together. I did rip a running board out, so I think I'm going to mock that up quickly just to uh, get an overall look of what uh, basically what we built here when this is said and done. So let me get that mocked up. We'll have a, a gander at what's going on. I'm not sure where I'm at in the video. So I'm thinking uh, we're gonna leave this one at this point. I think our next steps is going to be mounting that front bumper, making some brackets for the running boards, and maybe dig around and see if I can find some headlight bits there just to make it look like a nice truck. But uh, anyways, for now, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.